Her eyes in this painting, they're incredibly vivid, they're incredibly intense, and you almost wonder, who is she painting this for? Is she painting it for herself or for Boris? Amrita Shergill, she's an icon of Indian art. She's someone who led a fast life and is really considered one of the greatest Indian artists of the 20th century. She's half Indian, half Hungarian. Her father was a Sikh aristocrat. Her mother was a Hungarian opera singer. She had this sort of rebellious nature about her. She lived on her own terms and she died young. So she's one of these artists who is incredibly celebrated. She influenced a generation and many generations of artists after her. Self-portraiture is actually a unique feature in an artist's oeuvre because it's about them relaying their persona to an outside audience. When this self-portrait was painted, this was a period in her life where we call it the Paris period, when she's really creating an identity and persona for herself. This self-portrait that we have is exciting because she was in a relationship with a fellow student and artist named Boris Taslitsky. For this portrait, it really depicts a woman in love. The fiery red background, the luscious red lips. It is a very honest portrayal of herself. Her features are not coy and demure, they're in fact quite fierce. What is she trying to say both to herself and to the person that she gave this to? The provenance of this work could not be more exciting. It's coming from the collection of Boris Taslitsky. He kept this painting throughout his lifetime. He often referred to her as my immortal because Amrita means immortal in Sanskrit. There are 174 documented works of Amrita Shergil. Of those, 95 are in the National Museum of Modern Art in Delhi. Amrita Shergil is also an Indian national treasure which means that her works are not exportable, and it also means that this painting that we have is incredibly rare to come into the marketplace. We don't know when we'll ever have a work like this again.